What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm going to answer this question by Eagle Fury. You now, in my other video, he was asking me about how to add scratches to metals and stuff like that. So it's real easy, especially with Redshift. And if you're using a service like Megascans, like how I use, I mean, you can use some of the assets from there, bring them into Redshift, and I mean, you can have it done within a matter of minutes. And so without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so to get started, I found this free texture statue online it was actually under the algorithmic website it's free so um you don't need substance painter or designer you could just sign up and download this for free if you want to use this particular statue and then for the materials that i'm going to be using i'm going to use the megascans library under free so if you wanted to follow along you could come down to this still asset here so i'm going to be using stuff from the still assets and then also I'm going to be using stuff from this other asset here for dirty metal. So if you want to follow along, those asset libraries there are free through Megascans. And so let's begin. So I'm going to get started by using Redshift. Now Redshift, we have a couple of presets that we could use to get us started. So if I come down here to my bottom left under create, go up to Redshift material and let's create a new material. And then let's double click on that, go to edit shader graph, click on that, and that brings up our shader graph window. So I could take these two nodes here, move these over to the right, and then under RS material, I have this preset here. And let's go under gold. I mean, you could start off with platinum, lead, whatever you want to use, or copper, but let's go with gold for now. So I'm gonna click on that. Now I have a gold texture. So I'm gonna bring this over to my my geometry here. I'm gonna just make this gold texture for my head, body, and base. And I can actually zoom in here a little bit. So if I look through my render view, let's click play and see what this looks like. So that's what our default's gonna look like. And this is without any lighting as well. So let's keep that into account. So it doesn't look very good. Let me um, let me add a dome light. So I'll close this out. So under dome light, I'm gonna put an HDR, which I have a bunch here already. So let me use this dramatic one that I found free online. I'm gonna click and drag that over here into my path window. Click no. I raise the exposure up by like two. Now let's look at the render view again. There we go, so it looks a lot better. And I wanna turn off that background. So I'm gonna go back to my dome light, go under environment, click enable background off. I can even add an alpha channel in here. And there we go. So that's what our default looks like just with the Redshift Gold. So now, if I go to one of the um, assets I downloaded through Megascans, I'm gonna use this one to start off with. Now this was the smudge metal one, the dirty metal, and it came with a gloss and a roughness. So I'm just gonna use my roughness. I'm gonna drag this over to my shader graph, click no. Let's bring this down here. And so my out color, I'm gonna drag that over till it turns green and then let go of my left click. Then come down to reflections and go to reflection roughness. And I'm gonna connect that, give it a second to kick in. You'll see a change up here in your preview window. So now let's redo this render here. And you can see, let me zoom in a little bit. Now we have some roughness on our metal here. So if you look here, you can see the smudge marks. You can see the smudge on the front. You can see a smudge on the side. So that's the quickest way to add a little bit of dirt and everything to your metal. Now, if you want to add scratches, we could go use the scratch library. So I'm actually go over back over to my Windows Explorer, go back to the other set of um, metal previews that I downloaded here. So this is what it looks like. And so it comes with all these things, like it comes with the fuse and the gloss and the metal and normal. I'm just going to use the roughness from this patch here. So I'm going to go down to roughness, drag this over to my shader graph click no again 
then I can actually just replace what I had there before. So if I go to my out color, change it there in the reflection roughness. Now let's click play on our preview. And now you can see we have a bunch of scratch and dents and everything on our metal. And we can also use, like we have our, we had some gloss and everything in here, or a speckler. I'm gonna bring in my gloss over here and that's gonna help bring down the glossiness a little bit on our metal. So if I go to my gloss, out color, and then come back down to reflection and make it reflection weight, you can see it's gonna doll out a render here a little bit. So that just had that just helps to add to a little bit of the realism there. So that's the way that I would add scratch marks and everything to my metal. And the way I like or the reason I like doing it that way is because it's easy to just like if I don't want to do gold, maybe I want to do lead. Come down, click lead, and now your metal's changed out. Or if you want to do copper, now you have a copper. So it's real easy to just kind of drag and drop and swap things out until you get something that you're happy with. And then the lighting is always important when it comes to um, these different metal materials as well. So I always like using HDR lighting. Let's try a different one, see what kind of results we get. So if I come back to bridge, let's come down to, let's say, I have this industrial room one that has some lights up top here. So I'm gonna drag and drop this into my path. And there, it changed it up. You can see reflections off the middle, the glints off the edges and everything, the highlights. If I change this back to gold. There we go. So that's basically how we go about, you know, dinging up and scratching and adding smudge marks onto my metal material there. So hopefully that helped you guys out. And as always, keep creating. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.